can't send any more messages, bro. Bro, on God, on God, on God, on God, on God, on God. On God, I can't send any more messages, bro. You know, a lot of fellas fail to understand that these women just don't care these days. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity. It doesn't matter if you're a YouTube uh, contenter and you have all this clout. And you have a lot of people following you. Listen, if you display weak versions of... Uh, how can I put this into a better perspective? If you show any type of beta male traits, like for instance, I've seen this guy a lot on YouTube. I don't really follow him. Um, my personal opinion on this guy, I got nothing against him. I just think he's, he does a lot of comical shit, but it's, it's sort of annoying, but it's also real life things that he's doing. You know, he does it he's got his own audience. Boom. But we're not talking about him in perspective what he does but we're just talking about what happened to him and this girl he was following this happens to a lot of men all the time when you show too much high interest when it comes down to dealing with women women are going to show you the opposite of how they feel going towards you i know it's kind of weird but women are don't perceive you as being very masculine if you're chasing after them especially doing double texting i say to men all the time don't do double texting listen i've fell in this trap before i know it's exciting when you get that bad chick that you always wanted you got her number but here's the thing once a woman feels that you're putting her on a high totem and in this perspective if she feels that you're putting her first or you're putting her above your personal needs or just all in general she's gonna feel that she can she can do this to you i mean one thing i've learned when you chase after women you lose everything you lose your respect you lose your dignity. Women don't respect men that are chasing after them. Women need something they can chase after. If you don't display any type of masculinity, any type of masculine traits, then you are going to be toast. We've been fooled, Ben. We've been fooled that we have to show women that we love them. We have to show women that we cared. Now, listen, I'm not saying that you should disrespect women. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is we got to stop validating females that's not giving us the validation that we deserve as men. If a woman is not reciprocating what you're doing with your energy and giving it back, then there's no need for you to be giving your energy back to her. You follow me? One thing I've learned is that opposites do always attract. Women think a little bit differently when it comes down to love and romance and courtship. See, we think out of scarcity that if we're talking to a female, let's just say we get in a conversation, everything is good. Next minute, you know, we're hitting each other back and forth with text messages. The, the interest levels is great, especially after you just met her. Then all of a sudden she's going to stop. I'm telling you. They do this all the time to test your masculinity. I've been tested out before and I've failed many, many times. This is how I can tell you. Once you give in to the texting demands or evenly or even overly calling the female or showing too much attention, she's already she already knows she won. She already knows she won. She doesn't need to know anything about you. See, women like a man who's mysterious. They like someone they can chase after. 
Because if you don't have any type of self-validation or self-reassurance or any self-value, let's just put in those terms, self-value in yourself, then women are not going to see any value in you. I mean, the loud mouth, the screaming and stuff like that, it's a little bit juvenile, but I, I get it. He's a podcast. Maybe that's just his personality. That's what he does. But I'm thinking about it from this perspective. It, it is kind of childish and, and very immature. I, I, I don't know if it's just a Gen Z thing. I was just reading a question here. You know, like this guy was saying she wants you to man up. It's not cool running, looking Okay, I can't really say that word. He's looking like a great value version of Dougie E. Doug. Okay, somebody's saying this. These G, these Gen Z kids and Gen Alphas are flat out retarded. I'm glad the video we grew up off of had held value to revisit. All these kids gonna know is a goofy I can't say that word <laughs> doing ignorant ish for views ish crazy when you think about it. And you got some people just in, in the comment section call him an ugly and dark and all this Th that I'm not approved. I think that's just dumb. That's just stupid. Um, but I am going to say this is that whatever you're reciprocating, whatever you're putting out, you're going to get that total opposite from a female women run differently when it comes down to having an affection and gaining an affection from women and wanting to have a woman call you back and wanting to catch up on you and see how you're doing these things take time a woman don't develop feelings overnight like that like a man can we can love because we're natural lovers we can learn to love women can't learn to love their ways of learning to care and love, okay? They can't learn to love, but the way, well, let me rephrase it. They can they can love, but the way they love is a totally different from the way we love. See, we can love by sight. We can love by a woman being next to us. That's how we love. Women's love language is a whole lot different, and I'm starting to understand and learn that more and more every day. Their love language is this, out of sight, out of mind, curiosity, I miss him, what is he doing, let me call him. That's woman's love language. That's how you get women to want to be with you, is when you are solely focusing on your purpose and you're not hitting them back up. I've done this before, I've done the double texting, I felt like, I, I've, I felt like a girl was drifting off. And, and she was ghosting out on me. But I'm going to tell you this, though. When she ghosts out on you, there's two things that's happening in this scenario. Number one, she's most likely either somewhere due to conversation that you guys had. She lost some sort of levels of interest. Or number two, well, it could be three things. Number two. She's probably got other things going on. She's probably busy with work and whatever. Or maybe she got other dudes going around. And especially if she's of high value. And well, you know, and she's, let's just say she has a lot of followers, a lot of people. You know, chances are her attention is always going to be drawn. And social media is also one of the things that really take up a female's time i we live in a modern day era where social media is is a is a kryptonite and it's a fucking drug to females unfortunately we're living in those times where social media has really destroyed the dating scene for the perspective of what it is but how you can get out of the slump of dealing with women this just shows you that it doesn't matter what you are what you look like women are doing this to everybody okay you could be a celebrity with money and listen, you still got to be tried. You still got to get played. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio. Women are throwing themselves at Leonardo DiCaprio. But why? A person like Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't care. He doesn't chase women. 
Yeah, he has money. Yeah, he has looks. But there's a lot of people who have money, have looks, and they still getting tried and getting played by these females. Because you have to understand, Leonardo DiCaprio displays masculine energy, masculine traits. He's on a mission. He's not focusing on females, and he's doing what he has to do. So with that being said, um, this is just a prime example of what to do and what not to do when it comes down to dealing with women. Me personally, from my lessons learned, if you want a woman to contact you back and you want to establish to courtship her, you have to focus on yourself and your purpose. Number one, but number two, you have to talk to different women because I'm going to tell you this right now. If you're solely just focusing on this one chick just to try to get her attention because that's the closest you can get to a supermodel or you can talk to many other IG modeling looking chicks. My best advice is to talk to as many women as you can. Talk to a lot of them. Women are attracted to assholes. They're attracted to bad boys. They're attracted to men that are on their mission. They're attracted to men who are focusing on what they have to do. I know it sounds crucial. I know it sounds fucked up in a way, but that's the truth. The moment you start to put a woman on the top of the list of what you need to do in life, if she senses that, she will ghost you. She will ghost you because now she sees you as, well, you have to rely on me all the time. As crazy as it is, whatever you were taught men to do on how to courtship women, don't do it. Do the total opposite. Now, I'm not saying be rude or be disrespectful to a female. Be cool. Be cordial. Just be like, hey, okay. If she, if you see she's not hitting you up, just be like, all right, cool. Don't even say anything. You could uh, listen. Silence is the key. Silence is gonna be your best friend. Women love curiosity, especially if she texts you. We do it. We were talking about the texting game. If she texts you and you just don't text back, she's gonna be curious about you. Now, if you continuously do the texting back and forth, back and forth game. And she doesn't hit you back up with a text. Yeah, there's chances she got other things going on, but there, there's also another guy in the picture, I guarantee you. I most guarantee you there's a guy in the picture. Don't be fooled by what a lot of women say. Okay, they say, oh, you must talk to a lot of women. Oh, you must do this. This smirk is a, <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're not going to precipitate my energy. See, Women could be talking to you and talking to four to five different men. You won't even know it, but you can sense it because the lack of the attention that you'll get once you send her a text, especially if she takes like, what, two, three days to get back to you. That's a bad look. Messages, bro. That, that just shows right there. She... Listen, women are constantly on their phone. On their phones. They got their phones all the time with them. There's no excuses for them to not want to get back with you. Or for them to not want to call you back or text you back. To me, I think it's a form of disrespect. They know what they do. But you have to also understand. If she's not making you a priority in her life. Then why are you making her a priority in your life? You need to focus on what you have to do. And do what you have to do. Women love mysterious things, no matter what you do. You step into a conversation. If you're able to peak her high levels of interest, and you're able to spark up a conversation and be able to end the conversation with, with her feeling that excitement, hey, I got to get going, man. I got things to do, but yo, let me get your number. I hit you up. 
And then you could just hit her up like a day or two. Just say, yo, what's good? That's it. Wait, she's gonna, she's gonna hit you back. First thing she was like, who's this? This is a way of making them earn your validation by doing this. See, women don't like things too easy either. They want to work for something. Even though they may say that, ah, oh, you guys play games. Don't believe that bullshit because they love it. They're going to play games with you anyways. If they feel that they have to work to earn your trust, to earn your, 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 your time, they're going to respect it more. And women think the same way when they play these games with men, even though we think differently. You got to switch the Man, game right back playing. on them. <laughs> Hit it back with the text because the, the games never stop. The games are always going to be played by women regardless. You can win them over, but me personally, I just don't got patience for that. I, I don't. I'm, I just try to give some advice to younger men if, if that's what you want to do to maneuver off the games, uh, which worked out for me quite a bit, is to stop caring. Stop caring. You, what you've been taught by your moms it's a lie because your dad didn't do what your mom is telling you to do. I know a lot of you men come from uh, probably single parent homes and not even the single parent homes. You probably have the father in the house, but the mom is telling you, hey, you know, write, write something nice to a woman, text her, show her that you care, give her some flowers, show up to her job. with No, nah, don't do none of that shit. Don't even tell a woman that she looks good when you first meet her, man. Don't do none of that shit. But you got to stop with these feminine traits, man. Because once a woman senses those feminine traits within you, she's gone. You know? So. <laughs> But um, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, this is just my input on things. Uh, this happens a lot to a lot of men. I think that men need to just kind of wake up and try not to get played by women. Remember, you don't lose women chasing money, but you do lose money chasing women. <laughs> and in this case, he's a man with money and he, he could end up losing. He will end up losing. So... Just be more mindful, more aware of things. Uh, this is just my little pep talk on how to deal with women. But uh, sometimes, well, I'm, I'm going to say this most of the time. Silence is your best enemy. I mean, your best friend, not, not your enemy, your best friend. Uh, focus on you. Do what you have to do. Women will come along. And if they don't come along, then guess what? At least you dodge a bullet because if she can't align with you and your personality and who you are as a person, who you naturally are, and she's not worth it. There's somebody out there for everybody. Sometimes it takes longer for others to find who they really, truly desire. But anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Rate the video. Leave your comments. I'll see you in the next one.